Hello, Jamie here from Inky and Scrappy, sharing with you today card three in my card series featuring the Lawn Fawns Hive 5 kit and the Magic Iris. And of course, that camera add on. I actually picked up the New Day paper pack back in, I think it was about April, because of that camera print right there. Because I've yet to use my camera add on, this one scream to me to get it just so I had some inspiration because I was kind of stumped at how to use it. I mean, I, I had some ideas in my head, obviously, when I bought it, but that was a while ago. So I bought the paper pack to inspire me. So as I was flipping through, I knew I wanted to do a magic iris, and I figured, oh, I knew I had the paper pack. So I was flipping through, and lo and behold, there was bees on the camera and so of course it was meant to be B E E just if you're wondering I was going for the pun so I'm just picking out some different pattern papers that I think are gonna go well together and are gonna make my scene look like I want it to look did it turn out anywhere near where I was going to this with the start no mm -mm. It, it you know Sometimes creations have minds of their own. If you are interested in how I put my magic iris picture train together in real time, I will have a pop-out video, and it will also include some other features that won't be in this one. I have to record that yet, so it will be later this week, but it will be up this week yet. I do not use glue dots for my magic iris picture changer anymore. In Minnesota, it gets too cold in the winter, and my glue dots just don't stick. And so I've kind of been avoiding the Magic Iris for a while. And so I did some back in for Mother's Day. And I think I used Brad's on those, but I might have still... I think I used Brad's on those. Those were the first ones I used Brad's on. And so they worked a lot better. <laughs> At least for me. I didn't have as many issues. So... I went and found my mini brads because, you know, God forbid I see stuff that's right in front of my face. So I'm going to take out three here and then I'm just going to show you how I do it. So I start by putting that brad on the back side. So the smooth head is going to be rubbing against where the other sausages are tucked in, if that makes sense. I don't want the prongs on that side just because I don't want there to be anything catching on them. Anything that catches is going to hinder movement in any of your interactive, you know, type cards and or features. And so then I just thread these through. And yes, I have to thread and separate right away. I can't do them all at the same time. That would be too easy, right? So I will go around and thread each one in. I could have made my holes in this one a little bit bigger. You will see I have to troubleshoot a little bit down the road here but it really really helps when you understand how a mechanism works and so for me to understand this one I actually have an acetate one and so I could figure out exactly what shows in the window what doesn't show in the window what matters what doesn't really matter I had to maybe cut the magic iris down to fit a slimline card and this is that's how, it, I don't know, I, I just do the extra work to figure it out. Once you have it done once, it's usually done. So my template is forever and always in my template folder, and I will keep it forever and ever and ever until I lose it, because let's be honest, I lose everything. So for my little tabs here, I'm going to add just a teeny tiny minute drop of glue. This is just so those tabs stay folded once I have them on. The key to the Magic Iris is making sure that nothing sticky touches your moving parts, right? And also that those things that help hold stuff in place aren't overly tight, but that they work in, I don't know how to explain that one. But you don't like those tabs that are going to bend over. You don't want them too tight because it's going to hinder movement as well. It's just like if it was sticky. 
it's not going to let it move. So to put on the extended tab here that comes with the Magic Iris camera add-on, I'm just going to put that one there and then you lay your third ring on top of your second ring there and I'm going to put my glue my double sided adhesive on my tabs before making sure I don't go all the way down to the bottom there because I don't want any of that sticky next to my moving part again remember no sticky next to moving parts that's how it doesn't it doesn't move anymore and then I will lay that third ring on top here and then remove adhesive and I'm just putting the tiniest amount of glue on there and I'm keeping these very loose so if you have issues with this doing it too tight don't put the liquid glue on there first um, I guess that's my best because this one's behind the magic iris picture changer add-on or the camera add-on I don't worry about things sticking out it can be a little bit looser without without you seeing it anyways and then to open it you want to hold it on those three tabbed areas so you're not hindering any of that other movement now you see here that my one little sausage is kind of hanging out funny and it's because I used the piercing tool instead of a hole punch so my brads weren't in the right place exactly and so I know it can trim off a little bit and it's not going to be seen in the window because I have my templates, right? It works well. So for the actual camera add-on, I did cut one out of a heavier weight cardstock because this paper was a little on the lighter side just for that camera mechanism or the magic iris mechanism. I wanted it to be super sturdy because you can't put double-sided adhesive or adhesive on that one whole side of the camera so I wanted my camera to have some bulk or some girth to it I guess some some definite strength and weight in that cardstock so by doing that base layer it helps with my add-on layers here and then I will just assemble the camera Adding in some fun holographic paper for my button and my little flash. And then lining up my camera there so I kind of know where it's supposed to go. And then I'm just going to do a liquid, a small amount of liquid adhesive on the top there. No double sided tape. Just making sure, I guess the thing with liquid adhesive is if you use too much, it's going to ruin everything and anything. That's just kind of how, how it rolls. So less is more when it comes to liquid glue. At least that's my <sighs> advice. If you have issues with things not working well or buckling, a lot of times it's just too much liquid glue. So I'm trying to decide on what I want for my background pattern paper. The camera really does cover up a lot of real estate on an A2 size card. So I'm just figuring out how big of an area I want to color in. So I'm just taking a scrap piece of paper here and then I'm going to take that honeycomb stencil and then just stencil in. And I'm only going to use the first or the lightest two colors on this one. It's just a small area. It doesn't need to be as, I don't know, you get col enough color variation with just the two colors. You don't really need to throw in a third one. And then I'll just cut this down a little bit to make it a workable size. And then I'm just going to figure out how I want to build my scene in there. Yes, I did a blue hive. Because why did I got to be yellow? I like blue. And it's pretty. It goes with the paper. So I'm going to add in my blue hive there and some honey and the little birthday bee. We're going to call that one a birthday bee because I, in my head, these other little bees are, you know, throwing a little surprise party for the other bee. You know, you got to have a story to go with your card, right? 
And then for the double, for adding on that camera, you cannot put any adhesive on the side with the tab that opens up the camera. So I doubled up my adhesive here and on the one side and just one layer of thin adhesive on the little tabs there and nothing else on the back, just on those three little tabs. And then I placed that open over the top of my B there so I knew I was within where I needed to be. And then I just finished cutting off some more of the excess that didn't show and wasn't needed. And when I add the glue here, I realized that, yeah, um, I don't have enough height on my squares yet. So I did end up adding a third layer of foam tape here or foam dots, I guess. So three, and then I had to re-glue because I only use so such a small amount of glue, it dries really fast. So yeah, second layer of glue. So I add that onto my background panel. I'm just gonna color in that little dot. I didn't want to go and cut out a whole nother camera just to get that dot in a different color. And then I'm gonna finish decorating the front of my camera here. So I decided it needed a little banner on the hive on the inside and then I have three more party bees on the outside with the queen bee. I guess two party bees and the queen. And then we're going to add some banners to the top. They fit perfectly, two of them, over the top of the camera. It was meant to be. So I'll add those in there. And then my one didn't stamp properly and I thought I was going to end up covering it and then I didn't end up covering it. So I just took a fine liner and kind of drew in the little part that didn't stamp. No big deal. And then I'm going to add in my bees here. And then I thought they needed little bee trails. So I have my little bee trails stamped and cut out. And then I'm not going to let stuff hang off on the side just because I don't want it to hinder the movement of that tab for the magic iris. And then cutting down one more bee trail to fit on the other one or for the other bee I guess. And then because I was I really did want to put like a whole bunch of flowers on the bottom and it just I thought it was going to be too busy so I ended up just doing one flower and the honey pot to coordinate with the honey pot that's on the inside of the camera. And then the honey stick. And then I will add on the sentiment to the base here and the little arrow in black. And then add my card panel to the front. I changed clothes, huh? See, they take way longer than the 20 minutes or 15 minutes that a video is. I, I have to, you know, do wardrobe changes. And so by adding, I did the happy bee day on the front. And then of course we needed to add a little bit of glitter. So I came in with some diamond sickles to the wings. And then that little, is that the red eye reduction? Little light. I don't know what that one is. And then I did not put any glitter on the inside bee just because I didn't want to, you know, I'd have probably forgotten and closed it, included it shut. So I roll. I did bring in a Spectrum Noir gold glitter pen brush. I think it's a brush, right? Anyways, there is my finished card for today. Thank you so much for watching along with me. And remember to click that subscribe button if you are not subscribed. 
and then all of those who subscribe, thank you, thank you, thank you. And you have a great day and keep getting inky.